FMAschool.com. Hi everybody, this is your Francis and this big your big boy is Kimador and today we're going to be talking about the curving strike. Now the curving strike, the corbada or is well, the style that we're using is what was developed by Supreme Grandmaster Kakoi Cañete from Kakoi Dose Pires. May you rest in peace, sir. But we're going to be talking about the curving strike. Now, one of the things that we talk about in FMA school is how we do efficiency movement, don't do more than you have to and we try not to retract as much as possible. In fact, in certain circles we consider that a cardinal rule to never ever retract, we should be able to redirect. So now we're gonna have my student, uh, Raymond, to help me demonstrate. Okay, so now we're gonna have my, my student, Raymond, demonstrate what he's gonna do. He's just gonna keep his, hello. He's gonna keep his stick in his shoulder. Closer. He's gonna keep his stick in his shoulder and he's, what he's gonna do, he's gonna block, right? Now, from here, what do I do? I can, I, 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 again, we're trying not to retract. We wanna be efficient in our movement. So if he blocks here, I'm gonna go up here, strike to the top. Then of course he's gonna to try to move my hand away again. He's gonna, and boom, I'm gonna strike here again. And then he's gonna to try to move it again. Boom, there's a strike again. Then he's gonna to try to move it again. Boom, there's a strike again. And now he's gonna to try to grab my hand here, but then now he's overcommitted, and now there's my strike here, okay? Let's do that from the other angle. Raymond over here, please. Okay, so he's gonna block here. I'm going to curve my strike to the back of his neck. He's going to try to move it around. I'm going to strike it to, the, to his body. Wherever he decides to move it, push it back up here to the top of his head this time. And then he's going to push it to the other side here. It's going to be to, an abanico to the side of his head. He's going to push it again to the other side. Abanico strike to the other head. And then he's going to try to push it to the other side. Abanico to the top. Uh, we think to the top of the head. And from there, he's going to try to push down. Stomach strike, right? Then I'm going to come in, he's going to block again here, I'm going to go up, and but what's available is his ribs, boom, here, and now he's going to try to follow me, and I'm going to, he's going to overcommit, and then now that's when I finally give the death, death, death blow. So the thing about, again, with the curving strike, is that you can, it's not about um, retracting and regaining energy, it's redirecting the energy. It's like when he blocks here, I'm just going to turn, turn, turn. And that's why wrist dexterity is very important in Filipino martial arts. This is Guru Francis, Big Boy Screen Until next time, peace out.